Hello everybody, Mark Trenches here. How's everybody doing today? So today in this video, we are going to be feeding some slings, plus the first feed for the Smokies Victoria since she has molted. So, uh, we're very excited about that, and there she is in here. So she should be very hungry. Before we kick off with the video, I've got um, to like do a shout out. This is an Instagram shout out. This is to Wisco Tranchulas. He's got a, a nice collection here. Some beautiful tranchulas. Then the Chromatus, beautiful spider. I have one in my collection. Bracapelna Bahomi, another beautiful spider. Lassiodora difficilis, I've got one of them as well actually. Um, it's not just spiders he has though, he's got uh, geckos, and one I really do like, there's a picture here, of his beautiful dog. Looks like a red nosed pit bull to me. Beautiful dog, so I used to have a pit bull myself. They're actually banned in the UK, but they're everywhere. Uh, yeah, beautiful dog there. And he looks like he's uh, made friends of a ferret there as well. So, yeah, so go and check out Wisco Trenches on Instagram. Give him a little follow. They've got some beautiful pictures as you see just then. So, let's crack on with some feedings and let's hope to get some good takedowns. Let's do this. Okay, so let's kick things off with the green bottle blue. Should be very hungry. No one's hungry this fella is. Ah, oh, missed it. That was quick. Too quick for the camera as well. Yeah, as you can see, those gorgeous colours of the green bottle blue. Stunning colours throughout its life. That's what I love about these teas. Looks like she's having a bit of a problem there with the locusts and the web. Sure, what it wants to do with it. I thought it was dragging it into a hide there. Okay, let's go on to the next tea. Okay, next up is the bracket pale by Alba Pelosum. Let's see if she's hungry. Oh, she was there, just sucked in there. New she's there somewhere. And you can just see in that little hole there. The locust got sucked through. 
That was a quick takedown. And not much to see on that one. Okay, let's uh, swiftly go on to the next tee. Okay, the next tee is this beautiful one. This is my Vipcularia Mary Mariani. Never, I can never pronounce the name of this one. We'll have to look it up. But she's a gorgeous one. Here we go. Things when you're losing, when you're using locusts, they've got their advantages and they've also got their disadvantages. The advantage is you've got time to manoeuvre them because they're very slow. But that could also be the disadvantage as well. And there's a beautiful take there right there. Where you use little crickets and you just drop them in. The spiders seem to like jump on them straight away. With the locusts, they're very slow moving, but sometimes you can't get a good takedown. But that was a good one. She went the missing around then, was she? But yeah, that is a, a stunning avicularia species. This is my blue fang. What I tend to do when I feed my slings is get all the pots out at once and open the lids and then just wait and then eventually they will come back out again. As of this one, this was hanging outside its hide before I got the uh, pot out. I had to wait for a little bit and now she's back out again. So let's see if we can get a nice take down here. It's probably a quick take down. Use a little bit in and out this one. Oh. Wow. <laughs> she senses something. I've not even got the uh, locust in yet. Here we go. I'll try and drop one in here. chance to see some good footage of the blue fang which is very rare. As soon as that locust moves, this is what I was talking about, the slowness of the this is the advantage of using the locust because they're slow, you get to see the spider. And obviously the disadvantage is because they're so slow. We could be waiting here a little while. The spider looks hungry. The locust. Oh, there we go. Straight in, straight out again. We always uh, quick takedowns in and out jobs with these Ephiphobopus species. That's why it was nice just to see her come out then. Oh god, she was fast. Stunning tarantula. Okay, let's go on to the next tarantula. So we're going to be moving on to this, my Pemphibeta species, Asakara. And I know that she will definitely take down this big juicy cricket. Here we go. Slow locust now. Yeah. Onto the crickets. And the cricket is plain dead. Just like a locust. And there you go. 
go. This fiber does not hesitate whatsoever. Such a beautiful spider. Panthropesis, panther beta species always eat unless in pre -mult. Absolutely stunning right there. Phenomenal spider. She's not wasting that time doing that happy dance. Very quick. Okay, so in here is my Swipeus Victoria. This is going to be her first feed since she's bolted. She'd been wandering around her enclosure before I took the lid off, so she looks hungry. So let's see if we can uh, draw her out so we can see her in all her beauty. It's going to be this way so I don't block the light. Try and draw her out. She's got some attitude, this girl has. She really has. Set the cricket down there for a minute. <clears throat> She's got it. Weren't the best of takedowns because we didn't see her. She's got the cricket there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to. Um, Give it five minutes because I do want to see this spider in all her glory and I want to show you guys the spider as well. So we're going to give it five minutes once she's come out and we can see her. Yeah, it doesn't look like she would be coming out after all people. I'll we'll have to catch her again on another day. It's a shame. That's the thing about tranchulas. You can't they don't always do what you want them to do. Let's get it next time. Oh well. well ever since I've got her, she's not really been doing much. She's in pre malt well at least I think she is. But what the hell. Let's see if we can feed Monica. Just a just see if she takes down the locust, really.
Well, I'll tell you what, maybe she's not in Primark. Let's catch this now. This is going to be the best take that I'll ever see. There she is, look at that. about to pick my camera up so excuse me if it's not steady let's just give the bunkers a nudge see look at her abdomen looks like she's in primo Oh, beautiful takedown. Well, that was a surprise there. I wasn't going to feed her, but with a lack of decent takedowns, I thought, what the heck? Just going to give it a go. Just goes to show, though, no how long you've been in this hobby. I mean, you look at that abdomen, it's dark, where the, you can see the bald spot as well. We thought she was definitely in pre so I wasn't even going to bother trying to feed her. But I just thought, what the hell, I'm just going to try. And look at that. I'm glad I did now. But yeah, you can definitely see there the abdomen, the ball patch is dark. Oh, I'm really happy about that. There she is right there. Absolute spanner on the spider. Such a big robust spider too. Just, uh, just for the record, I'd just like to add that I was told um, in my last and a couple of videos ago that this species is actually um, had a name change. It's actually an Avicularia variegata now, which I didn't actually know that. So thank you to Spooky Tay and also Moss also uh, added the comment on that as well. But just for the record, she will be still known as Monica the Amazonica. But just to let you know, yeah, about the name change, which I didn't know about. So thanks for that, guys. Well, I think that concludes this feeding video. Ready? So thanks for watching, everybody. And remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.